Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, today we're in, uh, you can see in the background, uh, Cody, Wyoming. There's a stampede ground over there. And uh, so a new skin here. This is uh, John Rudis 389 with the Montana Express on it. A couple little niggles I'm working on. And uh, not, nothing too serious, but you can see on the uh, air cleaner, the way he's got his uh, air cleaner laid out in the template, you always get this joggle and the stripe. And I want to see if I can fix that somehow uh, before I uh, publish this skin. So I'm going to have a go at that later today. i got to do the video and then i got to go I'll go see a guy about uh, a drive shaft problem. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be... Uh, I gotta get this done, go do that, and then come back, see if I can fix this. Oh, we're in, yeah, like I said, Cody, we're heading for Jackson. We're gonna do something different here. We're gonna go, let's look at the map. And it's 344 miles to Jackson, but it doesn't take us through the park. So if I make the park, just put a waypoint there. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's not good. That's no good. Let's see. I can make it take us through there. There we go. 182 miles. A lot shorter, but we get to go through the park. And yeah, we'll go the speed limit. It should make it a reasonable trip. If uh, I don't speed and we putz along and have a good look at the park, that might be pretty interesting. Although this other trip would have been neat. It's kind of long. And I uh, do want to see this. So my friend Kenny B is uh, probably just sending me a message. Uh, hopefully you guys are checking his channel out. I'll have to put a link in again. So we've got a pretty cool load here. It's uh, it's a spray uh, rig here. It's pretty neat. It's fun using those in uh, Farm Sim 22. They really uh, cover a lot of ground. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Should be all set to roll out of here. Got the uh, C16 in here. This trailer is pretty handy because the uh, axles are pretty far forward, so. We should have no issue getting out of here. Although it is a really long wheelbase truck. Looks <laughs> like we're going to have to do a little do si -do here to get around the porta potties. See the kind of trouble we get into for going through the park. That road you can see in the background on the left that goes under this bridge. I, uh, I drove on that. Uh, I just uh, flew myself on the other side of the fence up ahead in the touristy zone here. I'm trying to remember to go to the speed limit here. That was kind of cool. Uh, it's, I thought maybe, well, there's no chance it'd be an unmarked road actually because. Uh, it's a barrier. Yeah, I had to fly over it. Jump ahead here. This there's a fence on the left here, a gate that keeps you out of it. I just do a quick look around there. That gate you saw there. Uh, this is pretty along here. Let's see if we can get a view from the other side of the truck here once you get past this hill, mountain or 
whatever it is. Keep right. Get our little jog out of the way here and have a look. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. There's our screenshot. Nice. Yeah, so it's uh, my medium heavy haul version of Zmod's uh, C16. Don't really need it. This load's pretty light. So we got more power than we need, so we'll shift a little earlier and won't drive the wheels off it. comes to park up here. Probably gonna tell me to turn around but yeah, hopefully I get it through the gate. Hmm. Let's see. Take this one. Doesn't have that stop sign that might be hanging out in the way. Let's see how we do here. Oh, this might not fit. Oh, it's just gonna go right through. Nice. <laughs> oh, it would be nice if you could do that in real life. Speed limit 15. That's a little low. There we go. down lower here so you can see some of the scene. So uh, the other thing I gotta do here right away is uh, I, I, s I hear the Update 145 for Pro Mods Canada is out. So I got to uh, try and get after that when I get back home from my little running around. So it's uh, been a month since the surgery and I'm going to drive today for the first time. So totally feel up to it. My old gizzard's feeling pretty good. Everything seems to be holding together. Muscles uh, got themselves all stitched back together, it seems, so it's got to be careful. Be nice to have my independence back. Up inside, get a different view of this. That's pretty cool. It's nice, this little downhill grate. Just sipping fuel here.
hundred yards, turn left. Turn left. So yeah, it's gonna sneeze there. Oh, that was close. Yeah, nice peaceful drive through the beautiful countryside. That's going to be pretty cool when we get this hooked up to Montana and see what they've got in the uh, southwest corner of Montana. Also looking forward to see what they do with the uh, glacier. Left. After 50 the, yards, turn left. the Glacier National Park. This is parade day. I should say anything, but if you're jinxing myself, but uh, the shifter's been working good today. So there, that's that big site that uh, you can take that special transport helicopter to. I believe that's it back there. On the, uh, oh, maybe not. No, that's not it. It's something else. Maybe it's coming up. Even yellow, so we were leaving, and we would have had to stop if we were coming into it. if I should find some uh, do a new pinstripe design and maybe put some on the tank and fenders for this truck or is that just too busy maybe if I find something that's not too over the top Contemplating giving the mouse a big wiggle and having a look over my shoulder there, but yeah, wanted to have a look at that lake. That would have been a pretty sketchy maneuver. Just start gazing around too much and all over the road. We'll have a little look down this creek. Oh. 
Maybe we... Okay, well that's weird. We didn't have to stop back there, but it looks like we're leaving Jellystone here. Huh. That's weird. I have to pay more attention next time and see what the extent of the park is and what all those gates are. I guess that one where we uh, brushed the top of the portico thingy on the way in, that was probably the entrance. So now Keep I guess. Right. After 50 yards, turn right. I guess we get to uh, head past, uh, right. what is it, Grand Teton Mountains or whatever that is in the distance, I can't remember here. And uh, what else, a big field of buffalo. Kind of nice driving the speed limit. <laughs> a little more relaxing. Yeah, so here's all those buffalo. I think I mentioned when my wife and I were driving through here on our honeymoon way back. We're in our little Toyota Corolla. When I'm driving, and uh, there's buffalo right beside the road like that right there. And so I stop, and like a dummy, I roll down the window. And it was actually right on the shoulder of the road on the opposite side there and it was on the pavement and it had no traction fortunately but it uh, tried to tried to zoom across the road and put its head in the window give me a big headbutt I guess but anyway as soon as it's uh, who started scrapping on the pavement, so it would have been just like on the shoulder of the road to my left here in this view. And I was in the driver's lane, and, you know, I was at a dead stop. It started spinning its hooves, and I lived out of there. And uh, I'm telling you, it was a near run thing. It almost got to the car before I was out of range. They say, oh, don't mess with the wildlife. and. Uh, Man, that thing was... He was just got up angry. <laughs> Go straight. I don't know if he didn't get his coffee or something, but he was pretty owly. Needless to say, we both pooped a kitten, and uh, I'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah, good times. Cool, this town, how they did it up, Jackson. Mm -hmm. I'd half expect him to do a left turn here somewhere. Go straight. Maybe it's coming up. what I know. <laughs> it's a right turn. Neat 
building, so I like the uh, evolution of the game, you know, they're adding these new buildings, instead of the same old prefabs they were using in the first uh, three or four DLCs. Oh, there's our first glitch with the shifter. Oh crap, now we're having multiple glitches. Let's try again. There it goes. That was really working well there for most of this trip. And once again, it's not the shifter, it's the throttle potentiometer. It hangs up and then doesn't let the revs come down and makes the shift uh, impossible. And also when it's hanging up it won't let the jake go on. So you go to use the jake sometimes and it says well you still got the throttle on so it won't start the jake. Yeah that Jackson is nicely done. A cool little town. Imagine we're going to see some more good ones in uh, Montana when it comes up here. Well, this has been a nice little relaxing trip. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> Doesn't mean the next one won't be the same. <laughs> I might get back onto the trying to do a 300 mile trip in half an hour kind of thing. Who knows? Almost there. Yeah, the C sixteen sounds pretty good down low. After one hundred yards, turn left. See if they give us someplace real exciting to park this thing. Is that big back around behind the silo there? It's always challenging. I might have to do some more hard. I might have to do some more hard parking B doubles. Oops! I just let the clutch out with it in the gear still. My bad. Oh, that's not too bad. It's fairly straightforward. I think. I oh, yeah. Excuse me. Wow. Put it in gear. A fan won't pull me. Nice little triple. Those are almost they are the most fun to drive. Those triples. Get them in the windy windy roads and stuff, they're great. Look at this shed and see what angle we need to get in there. Mm -hmm. Not 
to do a correction here. Gonna have myself running into this silo. Let's see if we can still do it. Well, I think just gonna get under that uh, shed opening. Oh, there we are. A nice, relaxing, low blood pressure kind of Sunday drive. Very nice. It's, uh, Park brakes are on, lights off, keeping off. Didn't use much fuel, pretty good money, wow. And that was probably based on the 340 mile trip. We only went 183 because we cheated through the park. So, uh, money maker. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, there we have it. So, uh, yeah, got some new subscribers there, and uh, welcome aboard. And um, hope you enjoyed the trip, and uh, thanks for your subscriptions. And uh, to all of you who have already subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't, maybe give her a thought. It'd be kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, we just keep on trying to grow this thing. And look at this on this truck in the bottom left corner of the bumper. I have no idea what's going on there. How that thing got put on there, I have no idea. I can't seem to find a way to get it off of there. <laughs> Weird. Maybe I just got to do a little off-roading and we'll knock it off. <laughs> anyway, cheers, guys. Uh, happy to have you along and take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.